We're gonna be palpating extensor hallucis longus. So hallucis referring to the big toe here, and obviously extensor meaning it does extension. It is the third muscle of the anterior compartment. I'm actually gonna be starting at its insertion and working my way up towards the origin. The insertion is just a lot easier for you to find, and because the origin is other under muscle tissue, you're gonna start with the more obvious part and then work our way into what's a little bit more challenging. The first thing I'm going to ask my partner to do here is I'm going to brace her foot and ask her to just try to lift that big toe up. So kind of like a big toe thumb up. If you're able to, that's great. If not, you might need to assist them a little bit. But if you can add some resistance to the distal phalanx, which is its insertion. So we're going to relax your toe just a little bit. It's inserting on the base of the distal phalanx of the big toe. Remember there is only two in here, a proximal and distal, there is no intermediate. So I'm gonna add some resistance. Here is that tendon, and I'm gonna follow it across the dorsum of the foot. It's quite easy for me to follow. And then once I get up at the ankle, it's gonna get close to tibialis anterior. Let's show that just for a second. If we do inversion, you'll definitely see more of tibialis anterior. If we bring the foot back to neutral and ask them to just stick up their big toe, and I add a little resistance to that, it's gonna make this extensor hallucis longus tendon a little bit easier for me to follow up. So tibialis anterior here, extensor hallucis here, and extensor digitorum over there. So hallucis is gonna go up, and right away, it's gonna go underneath the other two muscles of this anterior compartment, which makes this part more challenging to find the muscle. So I have a tip for you, and basically what you're gonna do is you're going to ask them to extend their big toe, and then you're gonna add a little bit of a up and down pressure while they're contracting it so that you can try to follow that muscle movement. So you're basically trying to lengthen the muscle while you palpate up. Extensor hallucis longus is originating on the middle anterior surface of the fibula as well as deep on the interosseous membrane. So you're gonna be able to find the tendon up to around this area, and now you're gonna be looking for a muscle belly. So typically it's easier if you pulse the muscle or do a little bit of a lengthen and relax and lengthen and relax, and that will help you try to identify where the origin is. If you think about it in the basics though, if the entire leg here was split up into thirds, the origin is in the more middle third of that anterior surface of fibula and interosseous membrane. Because of its orientation from a lateral origin to the most medial part of the foot as an insertion, this is going to be extending the interphalangeal and metatarsophalangeal joint of digit one, or the big toe. It is going to do dorsiflexion, and then it pulls that inside in a little bit, so it also is a slight inverter at the subtalar joint. And that is gonna conclude our palpation of this muscle.